my channel. I know it's been a while, but I love Christmas time. I love this time of year. Winter is my favorite season. Always has been since I was little. So I want to make videos and I want to vlog, but it's just a lot right now. I still live at home, so people are always home. I'm never home alone anymore because of COVID and stuff, so it's kind of difficult to make videos, but I'm gonna try. I hope you all are safe and your families are safe. I know the countries look a little bit different wherever you are in the world, but I hope you're doing okay. And yeah, today's video is gonna be a, I'm gonna show you my Alice's Adventures in Wonderland collection because I do collect them. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, I believe. I'm gonna have to count them later, but I think it's ten. And I'm not gonna show these in any any particular order. I'm gonna show you the first one I got first, but then it's just gonna be no order. And I think it's impossible to choose a favorite, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you the different illustrations and where I got them, if I can remember. But yeah, let's get started. So the very, very first copy, I believe, I'm pretty sure, is this beautiful cloth bound penguin classic. I believe I got this off Book to Paw Story, so it's not some special I got somewhere. I think I actually ordered it online and I love this so much. It's beautiful. It's very sim simplistic, I, I would say, in comparison to others that I have right in front of me that I'm going to show you later. It's white and like this baby pink-ish and you have the penguins and it's just very very simplistic I would say. So it's very very simplistic and beautiful and cloth bound and it's a very small text which I'm gonna show you. It's very small text but you have the original illustrations I believe. Um, I'm gonna show you like a picture with the black and white uh, original illustrations which I think is beautiful and the end papers are pink like the baby pink and you have a bookmark and yeah I do really love this and this was the first one I read as well I think it's perfect it's not too much not too much color not too little color I just love 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 this to be honest it's the papers are also very they're luxurious like I don't know how to explain but like the papers are very thick and luxurious so I love this one the next one I'm going to show you is actually the most recent one I got, that's funny. Um, I got this at Book, book Depot store as well, because where I live, like, we don't really have any bookstores with English copies of this. So most of these are going to be ordered online or that I bought when I was, like, away on, va on vacation or something. But this I got at Book Depot store as well, and I, I think this is actually one of my favorites. I'm not going to say it's my favorite, but it's definitely one of them. And that is this beautiful copy. First of all, it's very big, which, you know, can be a problem if you want to, like, lay down and read it. But it's so, so beautiful. Look at this dust jacket. And inside of it, it's almost even more beautiful. Like, I can't, I can't. And it feels amazing. It has, like, all the colors. You have Alice, you have flowers, you have gold every color you can imagine and I just love it so so much it's definitely one of the most beautiful ones that I own and inside is even more beautiful almost and yeah I just I have seen others unbox this on YouTube so I had to get it um I haven't read it yet but I definitely want to I have looked through it because these this is a different illustrator I'm not sure who I'm gonna see if I can find out but you have actually color this time and it's a totally different style than the other one and it's bigger text so maybe this is perfect for like younger people children because it is a bigger text in comparison to the other one that I showed you but yeah this is a favorite of mine I love this so so much oh it's illustrate is illustrated by Anna Bond so yeah the next one I'm going to show you is a special one and a big one and that is the annotated Alice, which I also got at Book Depository and a while ago, and I have like skimmed through it and I started it, but I have not finished it because it's it's quite big, and yeah, it's a very like very small text, but it's very interesting, you know, just like to hear a little bit behind the scenes, and it's beautiful here too. It's like very luxurious material and even in this one you have illustrations not only text so you have the black and white pretty big ones 
so yeah that's pretty cool very cool edition for a alice nerd so yeah i think it's really cool and i hope to finish it someday so the next one i'm going to show you is one that i have had in my wish list forever on book depository my wish list is so long and there's a lot of alice books there and eventually i got it it's one of these popular books and that is the Barnes and noble um alice's adventures in wonderland and other stories and this is huge but it's beautiful this is like the copy that i've always wanted that i've always seen and i finally got it a while ago and i love it i have not read it i think i've started it but i've not read it also an issue when it's this big is if you want to lay down and read it's gonna be problematic but it's beautiful and you can just have this as decoration to be honest i love this and it's also a very cool cover a different cover you have alice and the pink and the gold and you have the mad hatter here i just think it's such a cool book the um text is very very small but you know which is gonna take a while to get through and in this one you also have the original black and white illustrations as in the first one i showed you the end papers are beautiful you also have a ribbon bookmark which is always nice and yeah this is also one of my favorites not to read maybe because as i said it's very heavy and i usually do lay down and read and that's going to be problematic but it's beautiful it's one of the most beautiful editions i've ever seen and definitely deserves a spot on your bookshelf or even if you want to display it which i am planning on to i'm going to display one of these books at least in my own apartment when i get one somehow some way i'm just going to display it so that everyone can see it it's so beautiful the next one i got is this simple penguin library edition i'm not really sure it's paperback they're very small easy to read nothing really special it's kind of cute you have the penguins and the gray and yellow and pink very very simplistic you have the original illustrations here too the black and white and i believe i got this at a swedish bookstore actually because this is like the only editions of classics they have these very simple ones so i believe i got that at a swedish bookstore and i just had to get it because you know it's an edition and it's easy to read easy to carry around this is probably the most easy to carry around of all of them so i do enjoy this and this is like you can read this without it being too heavy the next one i'm gonna show you is i think also one of my favorites i love this one it was one of the first ones i got i believe like the second one i got or something and this this beautiful edition i believe this is barnes and noble as well and i love this i love the purple color i love the silver with the purple you have this on the back the end of papers a ribbon bookmark and silver sprayed edges and this one has like color illustrations i believe it's the same ones the um, original illustrations but with color i believe i'm not sure this is also easier to read not too heavy but still a beautiful copy and yeah i love this spine so beautiful this is definitely one of my favorite ones and i i'm gonna be honest i'm not sure where i got this might have been book depository or i'm not sure if i bought this in australia when i said because i have another copy that i'm sure i bought in australia but this one i can't remember either book depository or australia one of their bookstores um i can't remember the name right now but yeah they had like two ones that i always went to when i was there and maybe i got this there or book depository i'm not sure but it's it's available online obviously but you know yeah the next one is the one i got in australia and i know like i've seen later on like you can order it on book depository but uh, i think it's a very special edition to me just because i did get it in australia you know i picked it up at a bookstore there and it went home with me that's kind of special when you get something abroad in comparison to ordering online and this is that is this one which is the bath treasury of children's classic pretty not it's not so heavy because that would be an issue with um, the suitcase because you can only have like a certain amount of kilograms when flying so i got this it's very nice material i can't really explain it's, it's very nice you have a, a gray edges you have a ribbon bookmark and this is also the original illustrations but with color i believe and yeah easy to read oh the end paper is pink easy to read um not so heavy as i said and it's a very special edition to me because i did get it when i was in australia so yeah 
that's that. <laughs> the next two ones I got, which is Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass, I think I actually got last Black Friday on um, a Swedish bookstore's website. I think they had these on sale because I remember them being so cheap, so I just ordered them. That is these editions. I do not know what it's called, but like they belong together. So this is Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. They're very small and cute, you know. You have the original illustrations, easy to carry around, you know, very, very light, but also so beautiful. Like, I love this. It has Alice in the tree, you have like reddish and blue, it's very, very beautiful. And yeah, I love this, so simplistic. And then we have Through the Looking Glass, which is so cool. You have like kind of a reflection thing going on in the mirror, you have Alice, the red, very, very beautiful. So yeah, I got this for like no money at all. I remember them being so cheap. So I just clicked home and they arrived in the mail. But yeah, I think I got them on Black Friday last year. Very cute, very simplistic, and I would definitely like carry around one of these in, in my bag because as I said, they're very lightweight, which, you know, helps. The last book that I have that is Alice, I got in Malmö in Sweden when I went there a while ago. They have this bookstore that I love and I found this beautiful copy. So at first it was like, this is, you know, this is cute, um, but not really my style, I don't know. Uh, but then, then I saw that like, it was a slipcase and this is the actual book, which I love. I actually think I prefer this without this, but I haven't gotten rid of it because that feels wrong. But I do think this is more beautiful than the slipcase. Just very simplistic. I love simplistic, it, um, you know, <laughs> it's nice. You have the red, very beautiful quality, the silver, you have the rabbit playing on the back there, and this has illustrations, black and white, and the papers are different from the other books. Uh, I, I can't explain it, I don't know, um, I don't know, but they're different from the other ones. Feels good. Some color illustrations and some black and white. Kind of easy to read, a little bit heavy, but you know, on the easier side, the bigger text. I have a bigger text than most of them. I love this one. More without the dust jacket, but I'm gonna keep it because it feels wrong to just throw it away. But yeah, I love this one. It's really, really beautiful. And also special because you bought it in the bookstore. I think that's more special than buying it online. I do most of my book shopping online just because I live in this small town. You know, you have to go far away to find a good bookstore. So that sucks, but you know, I love this one. It's very beautiful, very beautiful. So that was all for this video. Thank you for watching. And if you have a favorite of all of these, please let me know in the comments which one you thought was the most beautiful. And yeah, it's a beautiful story and so many beautiful editions. I can't believe how many there are. There are so many. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and hopefully you will see me soon. I really want to vlog more on Christmas. Maybe I'll start one next week because I don't work too much next week. So maybe I can do that. And yeah, I hope you're all doing fine. I hope you're all safe. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.